What is up guys, it's your boy King Tarek and today guys I'm going to be talking about my spiritual awakening. Now I actually wanted to do this video like, uh, I think, uh, I don't know how long ago bro, but um, I just decided not to do it because ultimately I don't, I, I feel like other people aren't going to experience the same shit as me. Like you might actually, uh, what's it called, experience something that's way better, you know what I'm saying? Like you might tap into something else that I haven't tapped into. You know what I'm saying? So, I just felt like it was just no point because other people aren't going to experience the same thing as me. You know what I'm saying? Some people aren't just ready or just just whatever. But, um, yeah, I just decided to do it now because I am bored. Yeah, I'm bored as hell. I've been taking care of myself, like, a lot and just focusing on just myself. And, um, now that it gets boring, it's just... It's kind of like a routine thing, so, like, right now, like, I've done everything that I had, you know what I'm saying, like, met all of that stuff today, so it's like, I have a hella time, <laughs> like, before, I would do other stuff, um, but yeah, I have a hella time, so I'm gonna do this video, and just knock it out, and just put it out there, um, I'm not the type of person that put myself out there on social media, because ultimately, I do not care about social media, and that's really why, um, I, I don't know, I really just, let me explain. I'll explain. Um, but yeah, first I'm gonna explain my process of the uh of my spiritual awakening and then like when it happened, you know what I'm saying? But um and explain, you know, what I experienced and all that other stuff. Um, I guess maybe this could help other people, you know, figure out what's going on with them. Um, I don't know, I don't really see, but like I said, we all have different experiences, so I really don't see I just didn't see how this shit would help anybody. But also, following on with some Cold War uh, gameplay, I'm not playing Call of Duty anymore. I, I just don't care about it. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to experience that anymore. So, yeah. Um, uh, I probably won't do another video like this. <laughs> like, I probably won't do another video, to be honest. Because this year is, yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about that. But yeah, I'm probably not going to do another video. So, this is probably the last video I probably will ever do. So, yeah, enjoy, I guess. Um, and this is also, I'm talking about myself, so you guys can actually figure out who I was or who I am. You know, some people actually know a little bit of things about me. Um, some of my subscribers, like some people I actually, uh, decided to actually be friends with or, you know what I'm saying, grow a type of relationship, some sort of relationship, you know. Um, what the fuck? Uh, my bad. Um, but yeah. Now, first, my spiritual awakening process actually started when I was 15. Um, it was pretty weird. Uh, I always was the type of person who just didn't, I didn't, I didn't fuck with nobody, bro. I had, I had hella friends, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't hang out with them outside of school. Like, all my friends are just in school, you know what I'm saying? Now, I had friends that was outside of school, but, um, I actually stopped hanging out with them. This is actually before I started playing Call of Duty Heavy. So, this is, yeah, when I was 15. Like, that's when I started playing Call of Duty Heavy, like, every day. Like, this just was in my routine. Like, only thing I would do, honestly, is play Call of Duty and boxing. That's it. That's all I do with my life, bro, for a very long time. But, because, really, I wanted to do that, because I was really enjoying Call of Duty. And my friends, they started getting into uh, smoking weed, drinking, and all that other stuff. And I just knew that, you know what I'm saying, this is the time to actually uh, part away from them. Like, we need to part ways, because I wasn't into that. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm not the type, I can never get peer pressure. I don't see how people get peer pressure. But they try to get me to do these things, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's try it, let's try you know, no, <laughs> no. So after that, um, yeah, I stopped hanging out with these guys. I actually, um, you know, they actually continued to come over, but, you know what I'm saying? I was playing Call of Duty, bro. It was over, nigga. Once I'm on, <laughs> nigga, once I'm in the game, it's over, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't bother me, bro. I'm playing for the rest of the day, my nigga. Don't bother me, bro. So, yeah, um, these niggas actually continued to come over, but I told them I'd come outside and I never actually went. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember one day I went, and um, I never experienced how toxic these people were. And actually, my these people was actually racist, and they used to say racist shit all the time. But I never, I never really like paid attention. You know what I'm saying? Because we had f hella fun, bro. I had hella fun when I was uh my childhood. Like I just had hella fun, bro. Bro, we was playing airsoft wars, dirt bike riding. Um, bro, my. Fr <laughs> I had hella white friends, and that's another thing. I didn't like being around white people anymore. Um, I've been around white people my whole life, and I just chose not to experience these people anymore because I just didn't like them. And I experienced too many problems with white people that just, I guess, um, other people might be offended, but ultimately, I don't care. I don't care about how you people feel because you're not going to affect me anyway. Um, but, yeah, and it's the truth. 
Um, I didn't want to be around white people anymore, so I actually decided to let go of all of my friends because all of my friends are just fucking white because I lived in a white neighborhood in the suburbs, going to a white-only school, and I actually just decided not to like white people anymore because I actually seen white people for what they were. And yes, I'm going to actually put all white people in one category because I don't feel comfortable comfortable around any of them. I can't hang around one white person all day. I'm just saying, not anymore because I've just experienced enough to just see that this is not the crowd that I want to be around. You know what I'm saying? This is just not the group that, the group that I want to be around. There was only one group that I connected well with, but also had difficulties with also, and that's my fucking group. Black people only. You know what I'm saying? But I connect very well and um, with black people. So, um, well, you know what I'm saying? That's what America calls us, but um, yeah. So that's what you guys clearly identify us as. So we're going to call us we're gonna call black people black people, okay? But um, yeah, that's just that's where my process came from. So uh, I never been a person that was peer pressure. I ultimately didn't give a fuck about anything. I guess you could really say I was like a, a reg. Uh, they ch- I was really in a process of turning into an angry black man. <laughs> you know, say a a regular smegler as black American. That's what I was in a process of turning into. You know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't give a fuck about anything. But the things, the things that saved me was myself. I saved myself because I knew that what I was into and I knew, you know, the crowd. I just was really into myself. I was smart, all right? I knew that if this crowd is doing this, this isn't me. You know what I'm saying? And I am who I hang around. And these people, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a smoker. I'm not a drinker. I don't really, I don't care about party. I don't care about none of that. I really lost all my desires. I didn't really have any desires in life other than just living now. And in the moment, whatever I was doing, that's what I wanted to do. So I was playing video games and boxing. That's it. And that's really what I did for so long, like I said. But, um, yeah. I didn't have any more friends because I just seen these people are just a bunch of distractions. So I just focused on myself and just what I like. Um, a lot of people weren't just like me. Like, I fit, just, just imagine being 15 and really thinking like this. And I was the type of person to explore um, a lot of stuff. A lot of us actually lost the childhood of, uh, or the child side of ourselves, and we have actually have became desensitized. You know what I'm saying? So we aren't really uh, creative as much, or we don't have a huge imagination. All right, my bad. These niggas out outside are just really loud, bro. You know how black people is. I don't understand, bro. I like how are you this loud through the door, through the window, through this, that, like out through the walls, my nigga. How the fuck is you that loud? I don't know, but y'all, y'all know how niggas is, bro. I might actually go out there and yell with them after this video. But yeah, let's continue the video, guys. Alright, so yeah, a lot of us lost our creativity, our imagination, and been just desensitized. But luckily, I wasn't. I actually had mentors in my life also. That's another thing. Um, I never told anyone that. Like, ne- people never knew. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I actually would be pulled, um, I would be pulled out of class, like, say, like, after lunch. And they would actually uh, teach me certain things. Um, because the shit that I was talking about, like I said, just black people, all that stuff, the spirituality, all that stuff, they knew about this shit, you know what I'm saying, but they never voiced this shit out, so they pulled me, it's, it felt like these people were meant for me, bro, like, just whatever I was, you know what I'm saying, whatever I was exploring and my mind was connected to, whatever I was connected to, this was my path, you know what I'm saying, so I felt like they was there to keep me on my path, because to keep me interested, you know what I'm saying, to keep me interested and to keep learning about it, because whatever I'm... <laughs> Whatever I'm up to, I'm on the right path. So I felt like the universe put these people in my life to keep me on this path so this would happen. That's why I always knew where I was in life because I always thought like this. And I always kept these people um, in my life because of this. So I just felt very strong connection towards it So or whatever they said. Um, also, my sister actually played a huge role in my life. Uh, I looked up to my sister a lot. She's like my hero. But, um, yeah. <coughs> She taught me about the spirituality shit. She like she was the like she was the the, the keys to the door, bro. Like she, she, you know what I'm saying? She she was the keys to the door. So all I had to do was open it, bro. And after I opened that bitch, click, <laughs> yo, my yo, I felt I felt like a, in a different realm, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I I just different perspective, all of that shit, bro. It was just I just like my mind just I don't know, bro. It was just a weird feeling. So yeah, 16, um, where I actually, where the spark came, where I actually got, you know, my, my uh, spiritual uh, spiritual awakening, where it actually happened, was after relationships, like I started opening myself up to new relationships and shit. 
Um, because, like I said, people would try to seem like the world is just bad, people are bad. So it just makes you want to stay away from people and not fuck with people. Because you ask a lot of people, like, I don't fuck with bitches, I don't fuck with niggas, I don't fuck, you know, nobody fucks with everybody, anybody. So everybody's very selfish because people are scared of being hurt. But I didn't, because they see the world as a bad place, people are just bad. But I didn't see people as bad. So, um, yeah, because I never experienced it. I didn't have, I had, yeah, there was bad people in my life, but I just, they're just bad people. They're just ignorant. You know what I'm saying? So, just let that, I don't hold, I didn't hold on to that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 16, this is why I started getting into relationships, bro. And this is why I got my first phone. It was over. It was over. Because now my life consists of females, <laughs> boxing, and Call of Duty, bro. That's it. And I, oh my God. Yeah, bro. I just, I did a lot of shit, bro. <laughs> After that. But, um, yeah. Then I got, uh, it was one one relationship. And I'm not just talking about just relationships as in just females. I'm talking about relationships as fr friendships. Or uh, relationships with my family, you know, cousins, uncle, all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just different relationships. And it was just this one relationship that just hurt me really bad. You feel me? And <clears throat> this was my, because uh, I was always logical. But to balance all that out, I never was in tune with my feelings. Because like I said, I was a nigga that didn't give a fuck about nothing. Like nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I always blocked off my feelings. But... I was still logical, I was always smart, so I knew certain mistakes not to do, like, I'm not finna fucking drink, I'm not finna smoke, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, like, I know that these things wasn't gonna cure any of my pain at all, you know what I'm saying, so it was no point to even introduce that shit into my life, you know what I'm saying, so, <laughs> I was, you know how people just have a, a, a fucked up or shitty life and they just turn to shit, only thing I turned to was just video games, that's it, <laughs> and boxing too. Yes, I, that's, that was the way to let all, all my anger, bro. Yeah, I was fucking, that shit was great. But, um, and that shit always made me train harder and harder and harder. Just the more angry I would get, it just made me train harder and harder. And, uh, yeah. After that, bro. <laughs> yeah, after that, this is where, uh, I started getting depressed. Now, I used to laugh at people that, that experienced this depression because i didn't understand like we under we don't under we call shit weird or we make fun of shit that we don't understand you know what i'm saying and i didn't understand it but until i experienced it that's when i understood it and that's where i it came into a whole new mindset and i actually looked at shit just different you know what i'm saying like so quick to judge people and just i was very judgmental i was this that because i always felt like i was better than people <clears throat> so what i had to do i had to humble myself yes i had to humble myself um so yeah, I had to humble myself, and that's why I went through depression. You know, what I'm saying now I can understand why people like shit just happened to people' life just so bad because I didn't have any problems in my life. You know, what I'm saying because I was living good. You feel what I'm saying? Like I was living, and I was so young. Like I really, I don't know. I just didn't care about certain shit, so I didn't see shit because I didn't care about it. I just cared about whatever was, whatever I was doing. So yeah, this made me get into uh, feelings. Now this is about feelings. I already packed down the logic. You know what I'm saying? I'm very smart, very logical. Now, I need to tap into my feelings. Because now this is where, that's all That's all it is, bro. I need to come into my, myself, my inner self. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. <laughs> yep, spirituality, uh, just, it, I just feel like in a whole other realm. And that's it. And my fucking mind just been so advanced. And that's just it, bro. <clears throat> yeah. So that's how my spiritual awakening happened. And I went through a lot of shit. I was up on just researching shit, research all of that. Like, what is going on? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why am I just... I don't know, bro. And, yeah. Right now, I feel like at this stage of my life right now, I'm into my shadow work because I still... Even though I, st I was in my shadow work then, because after you go through a... a um, I don't know if this is for everybody, but for me, I just felt so good. Like, I just felt like... Every, to me, life didn't feel real. So I never felt like I was really living. You feel me? And I always knew that we create our own reality. Ask anybody. What do I I say life life is what you make it. Like honestly, if your life is shitty right now, you can change that. And I always knew that. You can change that. I had fun in my I had fun, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had fun. My whole ch I had fun, bro. Because life was what I made it and I made it fun. I did everything that I wanted to do. I said whatever I wanted to do and whatever was making me happy at that point, that's what I did, bro. I wanted to play video games. That's exactly what I did. And however other people looked at it, if it was weird to people, if it, 
I bitch, it's not you. I don't care what you think. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't give a fuck what other people think at all. Um, I really just didn't really uh, identify myself as just this this person. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't just this this uh, this show. You know what I'm saying? Like I always knew I had a soul too. Um, I looked into that. That's <laughs> it's just crazy. I just yeah, I just explored. That's it.